Hello, my name is Austin Langman, and welcome to the ne next edition of Austin Weekend. Here is Deb, and today we're here to review the movie Dark, The Dark Tower. The Dark Tower, which is based on a book by Stephen King, which we have never read. No, we now we have not read the books, so we can't compare the books to the movies. Uh, but basically, what's the movie about? It's about a gunslinger called Roland, mm -hmm. and he's the last of his kind, mm -hmm. as and, seen in the trailer. And his job is to protect the tower from falling. Protect the dark tower, and of course, the bad guy in the movie is uh, Walter. Who played by Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. So Matthew McConaughey plays the bad guy in this one. He doesn't play the good guy. But basically the story is about uh, uh, Roland. Trying to protect the Dark Tower from Walter. From Walter. Who's trying to destroy it. And then there's uh, there's an, a third uh, Young boy. player interjected into the story. Uh, Jake. That sort of reignites uh, the battle between the two. So, but but basically, if the tower falls, it ends, all chaos all, it ends erupts. everything. Yeah, all chaos erupts all over the world. Monsters and demons come out into the world and stuff like that. So the gunslinger keeps the tower from falling and keeps that from happening. Uh, and now, with that out of the way, mm -hmm. we just explained the story. What do you mm -hmm. think of it? I thought it was a really good story. Again, I haven't read the book. So, so we can't I, compare, so I the, can't compare faithfulness. the faithfulness of the movie to the book. Uh, if I'd have read the books, I might have a different opinion on the movie. But I haven't read the book, so all I can tell you is, as a movie fan... Not I, as a guy who has read the no, books. No, not as a Stephen King book reader, which I have uh, read some of stuff, but I haven't read this one. But as far as the movie goes, I think it's pretty good. I think it's got a good, solid story. And it's interesting. I'm a wizard, sci-fi, action, fantasy type of guy. That's my favorite stuff. So uh, this might, if you if you are in the mood of movies that have gunshots, this might be up your alley. Yeah, because there's plenty of it. Oh, if you like guns and bullets, this is just like one of the lines in the movie. I think you're gonna like. It. I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, if you like guns and gunslingers, and it, this is sort of, a, it's like a, a western set in outer space type thing, almost, which uh, which actually makes it pretty good, because I like the old-timey western stuff, too, so. And what do you think about the characters? The characters were pretty good. I like, uh, I like uh, uh, Idris Elba. Uh, who plays Roland as play, the last gunslinger. He plays the gunslinger. He also plays in Pacific Rim. As sort of the commander, the leader, with uh, a harsh side to him. Yeah, with the harsh side to him. Yeah. So uh, I like, uh, I like, I really like him as an actor. Uh, He's the, played good roles in the past. Uh, the kid's sort of unknown. I don't really know the kid that much to tell you much about him. Of course, Matthew McConaughey is a McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey <laughs> is a uh, uh, he's an award-winning actor. So and and he plays a pretty good bad guy. You know that little. Smart aleck, I'm better than you. And who? Well, he he doesn't really he doesn't really show it. He's like the silent bad guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. But other uh, side, you know, you don't give away stuff. You walk up, walk up, and go, stop breathing. And, and then and he then, so stop well, stops breathing. <laughs> so you know, he's just like an instant, uh, just an instant bad guy. He's a bad guy. And so. his appearance is also menacing. Yeah, yeah. He has a menacing appearance. Of course, he always dresses in black. They call him the the man in black. Oh, there, uh, was that a reference to uh, the man in black? Uh, I don't know. There's all kind of references to the man in black. Everything always goes back to Johnny Cash. He's the original man in black. But hey, uh, but well, I said it's science fiction. Uh, you know, end of the worldish, apocalyptic. Uh, apocalyptic. That's a definite good. Or word on it. the peak. It's okay. a apocalyptic society, end of the world type movie. Uh, you know, verging, teetering on the edge of coming into our world type thing. It's basically what it is. So, so if you like that, then it's definitely right up your alley. The thing is, the backgrounds here, the direction of how they go to different places in the universes, actually are pretty interesting. 
Yeah, they're about like portals, aren't they? I got, yeah, they're, they're kind of portals, that's definitely they? science fiction -y. Yeah. I gotta tell you, that is science fiction if I know anything. Yeah, and the, each portal's got like its own uh, code that you gotta punch in to go from point it's A to point B or point A to point whatever you wanna go to. You make sure you don't forget that number, though. Because mm -hmm, if you punch in a different number, you'll go to a completely different spot. So, so you can travel between portals, and those portals go between worlds. Uh... Which is pretty cool. It's almost like a Stargate type thing. You remember that old Stargate movie? Yeah. Which was a pretty good movie. Uh, well, what do you think about the writing? The overall lines and the characters say. Do you think the writers did a good job? Yeah. Yeah. I think they. I think they did a good job. Uh, at some point, I think it might have been a little too a little too fast paced, maybe. To you know, things happen too yeah, quick. Yeah. Certain sometimes, action a scenes bit. seemed a little too fast. Uh -huh. A little too. You know, rushed a little bit, maybe. A little rushed. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes the story felt felt a little rushed. Like maybe that could have. Uh, I don't. Again, I didn't read the books. I don't know how faithful they follow to the books. Hey, Dad. But, mm -hmm. Speaking of how it was rushed, you, this movie has an interesting production history. What's that? It was actually been in development since two thousand seven. Efforts of making this book into a movie. Mm. There was, was a lot of through. Stephen King books made into movies. Do you know, well, at first it was pitched to Universal and they didn't accept it. Pitched to Paramount, they didn't accept it. Then it was pitched to Columbia and they didn't accept it at first. And then Lionsgate and they didn't accept it. And it actually even changed directors. J.J. J. Abrams had it for 2007 to 2009. Ron Howard had it from 2010 to 2015. And then... Oh, chaos erupts from there. <laughs> Imagine if J.J. Abrams was in the movie. I'm, I'm a J.J. Abrams fan. I, you know, I like the the re, the revision of Star Trek and the revision of Star Wars that he did. I really like that. And the current director is uh, Nicolaj Arcel. Who? <laughs> I don't know. He, I mean, he might be a pretty good director. I don't know. But and the funny thing is, Sony eventually did it anyway. So that's the production history. Yeah, that might have been the only thing was maybe it, uh, it wasn't directed maybe the best that it could have been. The story was good. I liked the characters. I liked the thing. But maybe it was a little bit... Wishy-washy mm -hmm. in between. Maybe Sometimes. because of all those director changes and might all have those been, studio yeah. changes. Mm -hmm. But but don't get me wrong, it's a good movie. I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, after it was over, my thir my first thoughts were, you know, I was I was I was pretty good. I liked that. Uh, you know, so I liked it. There's one thing that this movie was treated by the critics poorly because they said it wasn't really faithful to the book. And like we said before, we're not comparing it to the book. I'm not reviewing the movie based on the book. We're just reviewing it because of our personal opinions of watching it. We just went and saw the movie just like it was any other movie that had ever come out at any point in time. And uh, as far as just being a, a standalone movie of itself, I enjoyed the movie. I think it, I think it was worth watching. Okay, mm -hmm. now with all the topics said... Oh, wait, there's, all, there's one more. What's the that? acting. The acting? I, I, again, I thought the acting was good. I like Idris Elba. I like Matthew McConaughey. Uh, the young boy was... Pretty good in uh, his acting too, Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom. So uh, okay, those are all the topics. Now let's get to the ratings. Okay, ratings. Just explain to you how ratings work. We don't give them like stars. Typical critic talk. No, we try to be more specific. I like, will rate it from one to ten. One being awful, crap, terrible, mm -hmm, terrible, horrible. Uh, ten being the best thing ever. The best thing in the world. Uh, we haven't had any 10s. We've had some 9.5s and stuff like that, but we haven't had any 10s. We've had a few 10s, but they were very far between. Very, 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 very far between. Most stuff is just average, and then some stuff sucks. Uh, well, speaking of suck, number zero, Food Fight. We've only had one zero, and that was Food Fight. But anyways, we we don't take, again, we don't use stars. We try to pull something from the movie that means something to the movie. Uh, like in the Kung Fu Panda series, we used... Dumpling time! Dumpling time! Dumpling time! We used dumplings because that's what Poe likes. He loved dumplings. He was always eating dumplings. Cheeks are full of dumplings. So we rated it with dumplings. So what do we, what do we want to pull from Dark Towers? You want to you want to use portals? Uh, I guess portals. We can use portals because the portals were pretty cool, how they could travel backwards and forwards. Yeah, they stories. were important to the okay. plot. So. Uh, one portal being a crappy movie. Ten portals being an Star awesome Star Trek movie. worthy. Yes. How many portals do you give the Dark Tower? 
Well, it isn't really Star Trek worthy, but it's close no. enough. No, it, it's good. It's an uh, eight for me. An mm. eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, eight. 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 I, I, I actually liked it a little bit more. I, I would give it a good solid B, which is around about an 8.5. Uh, I think it was an enjoyable movie. Uh, it didn't seem like it lasted too long. There wasn't any parts of it I got. I, I, I was like, "What the crap?" Uh, so, so I think it was. I think it was a really good movie. Again, I, I didn't read the book, so as a, as a standalone movie, I thought it was a really good. I thought it was a really good movie. Uh, uh, we just reviewed this movie as a standalone, standalone movie, movie yeah. without knowing about you know, the book. If you go out to Redbox or Netflix or whatever, it's definitely worth watching. I it's would take the time to watch it. It's definitely it. worth yeah. renting. All right. Uh, what we got coming up next? We got some movies, got some cartoons coming up. Yeah. So yeah. be sure and hang with us. Be sure and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Be sure and hit the like button. Leave some comments for us. Say, hey, dudes, this was awesome. Hey, dudes, can you review another movie? Uh, just whatever you want to do. Just throw something down there. Okay. Yeah. I don't care if it's just random. Shoot down your just opinion. Shoot some, just random letters down there and we'll try to figure it out. No matter. Whatever you want to do is it, good. Uh, but be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the groovy baby button. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have a groovy baby button here at some point in time. But other than that, I think that we are about over. Yep, Rooney. All right. Until next time, we will see you next week. Next week. Later.